What's up everybody? 915 Mang here hanging out with you guys. Hope everything is going good for you guys. You guys are doing well and uh, you got a little bit of time to check out a video today. Today I want to talk about filtration. Um, what I'm using, how I'm doing it, and uh, we're going to take a look at a filtration method that I've been using in the past. Um, it's gone from Chato to algae turf scrubbers, which is what this video is about, and protein skimmers. I love watching this clownfish. Just look at him, just swimming around, chilling, living it up, and he's doing well. Let's check him out. But back to the video about filtration. Uh, without good filtration, uh, your tank is just going to be a mess. And uh, I'm going to show you my DIY turf scrubber. I've made various different kinds. This one, um, I've always stuck with the waterfall kind because they're so easy to use you just have a pump some lights and then you know gravity does the rest so let's take a look at this old school diy turf scrubber that i made when i was just getting into the hobby about uh six years ago six seven years ago and as you can see i have like these little lights um this was before those leds came out that you can just buy these are actually being powered by compact fluorescent light bulbs and uh, I just have two on this side. can save quite a bit of money if you just do it yourself. Um, and because of the turf scrubbers, they are pretty pricey once you go ahead and buy them. But this whole setup was really cheap. Uh, I definitely needed more flow. And uh, this is the beginning stages of my algae turf scrubber when I made it. This turf scrubber is back in the day when I had a 120 gallon. That's what I started off with guys. I have the uh, Reef Octopus protein skimmer there pulling out some junk. And then I started messing around with the algae turf scrubber. Um, let's fast forward it a little bit so you can check out the growth. Also had some chato down in the sump and you can see it's really dark green healthy stuff and uh, this was a great tank and uh, now we're gonna fast forward to the 150 here and it really like doing DIY stuff and as you can see even with this video being fast forwarded uh, the water flow uh, needed to be more I needed a bigger pump but you can see that the screen uh, kind of filled up a little bit better because I'm using a little tiny pump and now I'm going to do the uh, rain. Um, still using the same filtration. This is my current setup. I have a protein skimmer, a rain uh, algae turf scrubber from Santa Monica Filtration. And uh, I just wanted to show you the growth. I didn't clean it up uh, right away, but this is like an all in one deal. The only thing it doesn't come with is the return pump for your thing. Um, but the way my algae turf scrubber is being fed is off of my return pump it goes off on the side and the return pump is feeding my turf scrubber and also my uh, 150 so let's check it out you can see the filtration I got the rest of the rocks that didn't fit I didn't want too much rocks in my uh, display and I just threw everything down here in the sump so let's take a look as far as the return pump I'm still using the uh, Hydor Salts D pump. I went ahead and put it on pause to cut all flow and it'll cut the flow for five minutes. So I'm going to have to hurry up, do what I got to do before this uh, kicks on again. As you can see, from the DIY scrubber that I did and this one there's a big difference in the growth this is with one cube of frozen food per day uh, that's what I was feeding my fish if I 
did more than just one cube of frozen uh, this would take off even more it's based on how many cubes per day that you feed um, like I said this is a Santa Monica algae turf scrubber and uh, even with running a protein skimmer it's still pulling out quite a bit uh, my inside of my tank my rock there's no green hair algae at all um, it's really clean the only problem that I'm having is the Aptasia my live rock like I said everything's nice and clean um, so I would hate to have this stuff growing inside my tank um, it's better right here where it's controlled one thing that I like about the uh, rain is the fact that all the salt spray pretty much stays inside of the uh, the housing itself this capper is removable which I uh, take it off and then I can just pull the screen out and give this sucker a good cleaning I don't have all the lights on in this tank uh, in the housing of the rain because it comes with all these different LEDs I don't have them all plugged in I just have like a couple uh, I have like a, a strip and like two because it comes with like eight strips of LEDs or something like that and as you can see growing all over the place Go ahead and give this sucker a nice cleaning uh watch out what you do because as you can see i have like a bristle worm or something uh, i hate to get that thing stung actually i got stung the other day for not wearing gloves in my tank and uh that sucked but here it is watch out for those suckers usually you're gonna find a whole bunch of pods and uh in the turf scrubbers which is a good thing because you know they feed your tank your pods will live there until it's time to clean get cleaned so I didn't totally clean it all out, but that's still quite a bit amount. This is what I like to keep on there. Um, I try to clean it up as best as I can, but you don't want to take it all off uh, because then you'll have to start all over. My screen is seated, as you can see, and in the next cleaning, it's going to be just as much uh, turf scrub turf on this uh, screen right here. But back in the day when I started, uh, there weren't so many turf scrubbers out there. Now you've got a whole bunch of different companies out there. And it's a good thing because it keeps pricing a little bit lower than what they would be um, than before. Uh, because you have a bunch of different options. Like I said, I like this one because it keeps the water in. It's nice and quiet. Uh, it doesn't make a, a mess and the housing pretty much covers up the sound. And I also like that I have one pump for the power in the turf scrubber. I don't have all these different pumps. And if I need to adjust it, I just crank up the flow on my uh, pump controller. And it's going back to my return. So one pump is doing everything for me uh, with my little manifold that I made. Um, I also saw this on Instagram. Uh, he got his uh, ATS. I forgot his name. But... Uh, I didn't come up with this idea he uses his turf scrubber uh and then he feeds it on the little fish magnet and the tangs eat it i forgot his name something reef keeper uh so shout out to him on that that was his idea so i'll just share it with you i got this feeder from my buddy enrique the one who got the 180 i don't know if it's up yet we need to find that out that'll be a different video well guys let's keep it short hope you guys had a good one Take it easy and we'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.